Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have quite the situation happening because the store in FIBA 22 is broken. Somehow EA have broke the store and every single pack that is available in the game to be in the store is now showing in the store. Like every single pack that we have like added to the code, we have everything from 125k packs all the way back down to 7.5k packs. Literally every type of pack in the game is in the store right now. This has been going on for like the last 30 to 45 minutes. It's just kind of a really weird scenario right now, of course. Uh, maybe something that kind of started this all is that it, the store is being very slow and preview packs have disappeared. Remember we had a, a glitch a couple weeks ago about preview packs disappearing and like a second preview pack popping up. Well, this is just weird because now in the store you have every single pack. It's like the other packs that were in the store that were like the normal promos. Like we have these premium gold players pack plus with the packs remaining 15. That's all fine and just normal and how it was. But also we have these other packs. Like I just opened a 100k pack for a Twitter video that I posted just like literally a couple minutes ago. I'm going to go in here and do it again. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Like you can open these unlimited. That's kind of the, the crazy part about this. The packs that don't have a pack limit showing. We get a blue. Uh, okay, is that an MLS TOTS card? Uh, rest of the world TOTS cards Christensen. So that was one of the questions that people had when this glitch is going on is, are TOTS cards in packs? Well, there you go right there. I packed myself the Salzburg right back. Um, but yeah, it's actually just, it's kind of crazy that this, this is going on. And you might be like, Nate, is this going to impact the market? It all depends on how long this lasts. I'm probably not going to open too many packs like that. Yes, I did pack a tots, but you know, if, if I click the, the probabilities, it still says it's updating. So I guess that confirms that tots are still in packs. So you could be worried about some pack supply. This has only been going on for like 45 minutes since I started recording this and I don't know. I mean, it's nighttime right now. A lot of people are going to wake up and see this. If this is not fixed and it goes into today on Tuesday for, you know, at least part of the day or for, you know, even most of the day, yes, it is going to have a big impact on the market because it's going to be basically unlimited packs that people could come in here and open with TOTS cards and packs, whether it's with coins or FIFA points. Some of these packs are pretty solid for value as well. I know some guys that were loading up FIFA points to get rares, right? Like rares for upgrade packs are pretty big right now if you're building the 80 plus or 82 plus player picks trying to stack them for ultimate tots or open them during Serie A team of the season you know these are pretty helpful for stacking those up if you like to spend um, money on the game but for a lot of us this is just kind of crazy but like I said it is probably going to bring a little bit of supply to the market if people are just going to get you know hyped about this, these glitched packs in the store since they're basically unlimited people are going to go in here and uh and, and try to start opening these and they're going to open them. So that's kind of the scenario right now. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to last. You might wake up, watch this video or see this video and be like, uh, Nate, this is not here. But I have not left the store for like 30 minutes. Now I'm going to back out and go back in. As you can tell, it's being pretty slow. If it says updating store, I want to see if this is just fixed because it's been like this for a while. And no, it's still there. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I have now opened 200K packs. Shoot, you know what? Let's open a third. Why not? See if we get a blue. This will be the third 100K pack, but it's crazy. I hope this doesn't last for forever because it will have impacts on the market 100%. Di Maria, that's not messy. Yeah, it wasn't big flares. I didn't get trolled, chat. I didn't get trolled. Uh, Di Maria, okay, well, there we go. And I just got a bunch more rares for player picks, I guess, too. But um, yeah, that's kind of the situation with the store right now. Would EA compensate something of this? Well, technically, we can't see the pack odds, but um, that looks like there's tots in packs. So I don't believe that EA would have to do or would do any sort of compensation for this uh, because I mean, it's just their issue with the store being glitched. They're giving us like an advantage right now, I guess, with these packs being out. It's just an honestly really, really weird scenario. So the part of the market probably where you're going to see this impacted the most is like gold rares uh, that have maybe gone up in price a little bit, or maybe SBC fodder might get supplied. If you wake up today, uh, or if you're watching this video and you're like, Nate, why is fodder like down? Which fodder really isn't down. And I'm taking a look at Serie A Tots card prices as well on Footbin. Um, and maybe these guys are down a little bit. Some of these Serie A Tots cards bounced up yesterday after the content drop. Like Koulibaly was 530,000 coins. He's been chilling between like 500 to 515. And Footbin shows him at 490, but he is not. He's like 505. So... You know, maybe some of these lower tier TOTS cards get supplied a little bit because of this crazy pack glitch stuff that's going on in the store right now. 
But unless, seriously, unless this is a thing for like multiple hours and it spans into today on Tuesday, I don't think it's going to have that big of an impact on the market because not everybody's going to go, be going in the store and, and packing these cards and opening packs with coins or FIBA points, at least not too many. So that's just kind of a really weird scenario. And uh, we'll see what EA has to say about it because because it's lasted now for about an hour. I mean, it's just very interesting. So that was not something I expected to talk about today in the video, but here we are, we're talking about it and that's what's going on. So I guess if you open any packs, let me know, or if you experienced this, let me know in the comments or tweet me or something uh, like what you did or what you packed or what you saw uh, during this whole like glitched store pack time frame uh, when this is going on. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you saw with that. Now, Let's talk about some other stuff. What's happening today on Tuesday besides the store glitch? Uh, well, even let's go back to yesterday on Monday and talk about the upgrade packs because yesterday was actually a pretty solid day of content. Now, as you see, the TOTS counter is up to 120. We did pack a few blues yesterday, but they weren't that good. And the pack weight for Syria is not that great. But the upgrade crafting scenario and the process with this is not terrible. We thought we were gonna, we were hoping for an 81 plus player pick. And EA Sports said, hold up, we're going to give you guys an 82 plus player pick instead, which actually, if you think about it, I know that it requires more rares and that's kind of annoying um, in, in the fact that, you know, last week it was so easy to craft these SBCs because you just needed one rare card and the rest golds. That's the part that's a little bit annoying. But the thing that I do like about this is uh, it's an 82 plus player pick and these are going to be fantastic to stock up on and save for ultimate tots. So if that's something that you're going to be interested in, I 100% think it's a good idea during this week. If you're not really interested in the Serie A tots cards that much, stack some of these up and then save them. See, I got a Kunde right there. Not bad. But those have been giving out really good fodder. I mean, I've gotten, I got like three TOTS cards from those player picks. I did pack a Magnan from the Serie A 80 plus times two, and I packed a Brozovic from the premium. So I've packed TOTS cards from all three of these. Uh, I think the best way to do it is buy the rares, do the premium, and then rinse into either of these two. Probably the 82 plus player pick is just better over time, but the Serie A 80 plus times two, you know, the blue drop rate on these might be kind of there. Just kind of depends on your account. I'm going to kind of mix up my time between where I craft and where I rinse. But starting with this, I still think it's the best value. I do find myself having to end up buying some extra rares if I'm doing and crafting into the 82 plus player picks. So I know that it's uh, some people are just like, Nate, why wouldn't you just buy the rares and put them in here? You could absolutely do that as well. I'm going to turn in 83s because I literally don't care um about that because they're just fodder anyway right but um you know i think that if you just wanted to make 82 plus player picks go ahead and do that because that's probably going to be a way that you'll get a lot of player picks made up and saved up and if you really want to save them for ultimate tots that's going to be an easy way to do it so i just like the 82 plus player pick that's the biggest w out of the upgrade pack sbcs blue hey okay see there goes to my point shalano glue that's my first one. We're going to update the TOTS counter to 121. Um, wow. Actually, hold up. I didn't update it for the guy that I packed earlier in the pack as well. 122. Forgot to update it for the card we packed in the 100K pack. So, yeah, man. I mean, the pack weight for these, I, I know I'm saying the pack weight's not that great. It just seems like the Serie A TOTS cards, of course, last week we just were used to getting LaFonts and the Ganduzis and those types of cards like time in and time out. It seems like the pack weight for these guys is not super high i know a lot of people were struggling with that yesterday uh with upgrade packs some people got good stuff some people got really bad stuff the 80 plus times 10 sbcs that i saw people opening were actually like bad we didn't open a single 80 plus times 10 yesterday that had a blue team of the season card in it which was that's terrible man like considering all the 75 times 10s that we had last week for league on tots we yeah those that pack weight on those was terrible so that was kind of disappointing to see i know a lot of you guys might be like i'm just gonna save my upgrades um because yes this team is cool uh, or i'm gonna save my fodder is what you might really say and, and save my coins and i think that's not a bad idea honestly if this week if this team does not excite you that much then there's no point in trying to spend a ton of coins to try to go and do these upgrades do a few if you want stack some player picks if you want uh but then just hold off until later on in the week honestly and uh, wait till Ultimate Tots because that's going to be probably the last, obviously it is the last week of Team of the Season, but that's going to be the most hyped week, I believe, 
people are going to be getting excited for that. So that's kind of how I feel about the upgrade packs. They're not bad. They're just, just kind of middle of the road, right? And that's kind of how all the content feels at the moment. Now, also yesterday, we did have a pretty good SBC. We got a five-star skill boosted Delafeu. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high-low work rates. He does have the average body type, uh, but he's pretty good, and he's really cheap. 109,000 coins. I actually did this with duplicates from the upgrade packs that we did yesterday, and um, and yeah, he's actually a pretty good card. Fun to use in the Serie A first goal cup. So that was, I think, a WSBC. We had two flash challenges uh, yesterday. The one that's live right now is for a mega pack. That's kind of a W. Nice pack that's released there. The Serie A Tots Challenge 4 with a token. That was our token from yesterday. Um, and then we had all the upgrade packs as well in the 80 plus times 10, which technically is a good value SBC by the gamble aspect of it, but the pack weight was horrendous. So that's kind of the update from everything yesterday. Now let's talk a little bit more about today. What's going to happen today on Tuesday? Well, we usually get Tuesdays are the secondary league guaranteed tots SBC days. So for rest of the world and the MLS tots today. So for all of you guys that are really trying to and hoping to pack a Tavernier or an Oscar, you're going to have a chance at packing either of those cards today, I do believe, or Mukhtar from the MLS, Gil from the MLS, Zimran, if, you, if you're really excited for any of these cards, you, we should be getting both of the secondary league TOTS guaranteed SBCs today on Tuesday. They've added both of them into the code. I'm showing you this most recent pack code that was added because it also added in the um, TOTS, Ultimate TOTS rewards that will be coming out this coming weekend. Uh, but the rest of the world and MLS guaranteed packs have been added to the code. Some people thought that this pack right here was for the guaranteed TOTS pack, but it's not. It's for foot champs. So just be careful with that. They have not added like the guaranteed ultimate TOTS player uh, like pack to the code yet. So uh, of course that would be coming next week anyway. And we don't have any more leaks about ult ultimate TOTS as I sit here and talk about all the stuff right now. No new leaks around that yet. So we're still waiting to see what kind of information or news it's going to come out with that. So I think for today on Tuesday, content-wise, we're probably going to be getting, like I mentioned, the rest of the world and MLS TOTS SBCs. I think we also might get some sort of a player pick today uh, because, you know, we had it in the past few weeks where we had that upgrade pack, like a gamble pack released yesterday for the 80 plus times 10. I would not be surprised if there's some sort of like 83, 84 plus player pick or 85 plus player pick, maybe. Serie A specific, another Serie A upgrade pack today. I would not be surprised for an 84 rated squad. I think we had one for Liga on last week. And that could be something that we would uh, see today on the game as well. And uh, just speaking about the market, again, it, it feels like a quiet kind of time because I feel you know, like a lot of people right now is, yes, there's some hype for, for Serie A tots. Yes, there's some hype for this stuff. But for a lot of people, what this week really is, is let's get through this week until... Uh, we get to ultimate team of the season and that's what it really is for a lot of people. So, you know, if you're getting through this week, a couple things to kind of make sure that you have all of your, you've, you've dotted your I's and you've crossed your T's on in these areas of the game. If you're really tracking on them is icon swaps, icon swaps. Um, it does not end when the season ends, but don't forget that if you're trying to get any of these packs, maybe an 84, 20, 85, 25, Maybe you're trying to get them before Ultimate Tots comes out. Make sure you're working on that this week. Serie A Cup, get that done by the end of the week. Um, so that, of course, doesn't expire before the season ends. But speaking of when the season ends, if you're playing Rivals, getting into that division that you want to get into, like I'm going to be in the mud because I'm still in Division 2 in Rivals. And for Rivals Season 7 that starts on Wednesday, there are going to be Tots cards packable in red picks from the Elite Division. So... If you're in the upper echelon trying to get to elite division and you want to grind that a bit, or if you're just trying to get enough games won to get your milestone rewards, you remember like the milestones that we've, I haven't played rivals like since Todd started, as you can tell five games in this entire season, that's it. It's probably going to stay that way too. Uh, but just kind of remember that if you're trying to get some extra packs and a lot of people are going to have those packs later on this week, that's just kind of maybe a, a slight reminder for you guys there or any other of the objectives that you're looking to complete that maybe have uh, some of these swap tokens inside of them. A lot of them are under milestones, though, of course, because this TOTS is going to go through the new season update. So that's kind of what's going on there. Now let's talk market for a bit. Um, honestly, 
the real thing to say about the market is there's not a lot going on. It's pretty quiet right now on the market. A lot of these Serie A TOTS cards had some fluctuations yesterday. Uh, you saw me in the video last night looking at Leao. You saw me looking at uh, Vlahovic as well. I bought, I bought two Leao's at 3 million coins flat. Sold one at 3.37. Sold one just under 3.3. Made a lot of coins from that. So I bought some Vlahovic uh, at 2.40. Sold 2.70. Some Berardi at like 190, 192. Sold at 2.15. And a lot of these cards, they're just kind of chilling, right? Some of them had some fluctuations yesterday. Like Teo Hernandez is still 1.2 million coins, 1.19. Um, he was low. He, re he rebounded back up a decent amount. I think these cards will probably stay in their same range, maybe go up a little bit if the content continues to be just okay. Um, and then the only reason I see these going down, I mentioned this before, is with Ultimate Tots leaks and Ultimate Tots hype or anything crazy that would come out, that's really the only thing that I see really negatively impacting these TOTS cards in the market. Now, also for SBC fodder, your higher tier, I'm going to refresh this page just to see if any of these prices have changed since this whole pack glitching stuff has gone out. Um, it doesn't look like stuff is down too much. We'll have to see more in the next few hours. Like if I wake up today on Thursday, like six, seven hours from now, and a lot of these cards are down further, that would mean that the glitched packs in the store, which I'll check on again here in a minute, are having some impact. But a lot of your higher tier fodder is continually kind of slid up, right? Conte 32, Lewandowski was like 47K, now he's 44. Um, you know, this stuff, continue to list it for lazies, put it up on the market. You don't have to sell today or tomorrow. Uh, you know, somewhere in that time for the next three days, you're looking to sell on that sort of stuff. And then I think the 83s and the 84s, if we get, again, two guaranteed TOTS packs today, and if we get another Gamble Pack SBC, you might see a few of those cards bouncing up in price a little bit uh, just because of all that demand coming in from one spot. Let me check the store right quick and see if this is over with. If this was a really quick thing or if uh, this is going to be something that's going to last for a while. Still going on right now. So this is interesting, man. It is. We're going to have to follow and see how this goes out. If EA tweet about it, I could very easily see them not tweeting about this. But if it does keep lasting for a long time, like I think if it lasts a few more than just one or two hours, then I think they're going to have to tweet about it. So as of right now, uh, the store is still glitched. Let me know in the comments of this video if it's still glitched for you. This video will be going live just a few uh, maybe like an hour and a half from now. It is 3.42, I believe, a.m. UK time. It's 10.42 p.m. Eastern. So when you get this and when you're watching this video, make sure you see if the store is still glitched for you. Um, because, yeah, just kind of a crazy thing to see all of these promo packs unlimited in the store. Kind of crazy. So I've seen people that have been like stocking their clubs and, and opening these packs and getting stuff. Uh, just because they're unlimited, which, you know, to be fair, you're taking advantage of the situation that's been presented to you. Hopefully EA don't do anything crazy because, um, I mean, they're going to make some money off this too as people do FIBA points. I don't think you would get banned for opening packs. That would just be silly in my opinion. So yeah, that's the that's the video for today, lads. Really, we're just kind of getting through today. Oh, we had a player SBC yesterday, which actually, um, we had the leak like right before the content drop. I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but we had the Delo Feu leak. It was like right before content dropped yesterday. Um, so maybe we are actually getting a daily player SBC, not necessarily Serie A specific, because we have had a player SBC every single day now, if you include the MLS and the rest of the world player uh, that we had on Sunday with Holes and that we had on Monday, or sorry, Saturday and Sunday with Holes and Maxi Morales. So we'll see if we get another player today on Tuesday if they continue that trend or if that was just uh, kind of the way the cards fell. So I do expect more of the flash SBCs though. Those are nice at least, right? We can all do a flash SBC and those are pretty solid. So I'll stop waffling. If you did enjoy this video for today, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.